Hello everyone, welcome to the Whistling Hermits One Card Spread series. Note that this video is divided into three parts. A short introduction, which we are doing right now. Part 1, which is a descriptive study of the card for the day. And Part 2, which is a reading from the Handbook of the Tarot of A.E. Waite from AGM Urania. If you want to navigate directly to any of the three parts mentioned, just click on their respective links at the timestamp provided in the description of this video. This video series is primarily intended for learning how to read the tarot. However, you can also use this as a card reading for the day. This is a timeless reading, so if you are watching this now, its message might be for you. In this series, we will be using the Giant Rider Weight Tarot Deck. We will also be using the Handbook of the Tarot of A.E. Waite from AGM Urania. The first part of the video will be a descriptive study of a specific card in the tarot. We will describe what we see and the insights and feelings we gather from what we see. Now, the first part is characterized by spontaneity. We allow the cards to speak to us regardless of the generally accepted meaning of the card. By doing this, we hope to increase our intuitive capacity for reading the tarot cards. In the second part, we will be reading the description of the card taken from the booklet of the Tarot of A.E. Weight by A.G.M. Urania. If you intend to use this as a timeless reading, you can randomly choose any card in the series that resonates with you. An alternative approach is to shuffle a rider weight tarot deck and pick a card randomly. You can then choose the card in the video series that corresponds to the card you picked. Note that this series is a work in progress and it might take some time for the 78 cards to be completely read. So, without any further delay, let us proceed to the card for the day. Hello everyone, welcome to the One Card Spread series and our card for today is the Seven of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Pentacles is related to the Seven of the Major Arcana which is the Chariot. And the Chariot is a card of moving forward and a card of uh, also when you look at it, no? Productivity, fecundity, uh, uh, creativity, productivity, fecundity. <laughs> Sorry, that's it. Not fe fecundity. And, and when you look at it here also, it's like this, no? It seems that uh, this person, after a certain period of time, after exerting effort, no? Was able to harvest seven pentacles already. When you look at it, the, the plant from which these seven pentacles are blooming from is very, very healthy. You see large leaves, uh, very, very lush leaves around it. Uh, but when you look at it, you know, this person seems to be trying to clean the surroundings of the plant, making sure that the plant will continue to be to be productive. So it's moving forward. But at the same time, you try to look at the face. You no, know, it seems like this person is thinking, and he is not smiling. You no, know? I don't know if he is thinking and trying to see uh, what can I do more to improve the plant or to make the plant even more healthier can be or it can be also that the person is already uh, thinking oh taking care of this plant is getting a little bit more tea juice maybe I would like to do something else no it can be also no so it can be a moment of moving forward in two possible direction one is to think on how to be able to improve more so that the plant will continue to be healthy and produce more and more pentacles that's one direction he seems to be contemplating for that possibility. Another possibility is that now that he has succeeded in making this one, maybe he's thinking of planting something else. Maybe planting a squash or or maybe planting uh, ornamental flowers, ornamental plants that gives us colorful flowers. So it seems like that. So it can be that he is right now at the point wherein he is moving forward to try to even make 
what he has already started more more productive or he is thinking also of a, a new horizon or a new endeavor that because he has been successful already in this one maybe he is already thinking of a new a new project or a new development it can be possible also for that and also at the same time not one reality that you will encounter part of the moving part of being productive is that you have to take care of what you have already started so this person is trying to maintain the garden and yes it, it can be tiring at times but it depends on your point of view if you look at it as something that doing this will make your the the one that you have been working with passion even more productive than you will be able to smile even when doing this work even if the work is tedious you can continue to be in a cheerful disposition if this still remains your passion but if your passion is already changing and you're looking for towards a new direction it's still if, if you have been passionate in doing this then there is a possibility that you will be able to work with passion and that you will again be successful if you try to move into the next endeavor so it can be like that now it you can contemplate on how to improve on it more or you, you might be contemplating at this time for a new development but at this present time at this moment in time you have the power of success just as this one has the power of moving forward with this development of the blooming pentacles you have the ability of moving forward whether moving forward in the same direction or choosing another path and the universe is in support of you very productive and you look the sky is very clear so that's it for now let's go to part two of the seven of pentacles Welcome to part 2 and our card for today is the 7 of Pentacles. Let us now read from the booklet of the Tarot of A.E. Wade from AGM Urania. Seven of Pentacles As if the 6 resolves the crisis triggered by the 4 and 5, we see a much simpler image with the theme of work. The suit will now move steadily towards its goal of a new and functioning society. The first stage of the process is the willingness to work for it. The pentacle offered in the ace has become a seed buried in the ground, and now a bush with seven pentacles grows lushly as the gardener looks on, the magic from above has truly taken root below. More, more even than with most other cards, we need to ask the questionnaire or ourselves about his expression. Does he appear satisfied with what he has done? Is he now taking a well-earned rest? Or does he stare? dismayed at everything he still needs to do. The answer determines how we understand the message, either in the personal reading or on the larger scale of world change. Divinatory meanings Hard work that makes something grow. Magic taking root in daily life. Warning, advice. Return to work, service to the earth. Action. A moment to step back and consider what you've done. Well, that concludes part two for the seven of pentacles. Until next time, have a great day.